I was young, I was a senior in high school when I signed up to do this. I only had the very vaguest idea of what I was getting into. I in 1964, Vermonter Chris Williams worked as a civil rights advocate in Panola County, Mississippi, during what came to be known as Freedom Summer, a campaign launched to help African Americans in the Deep South gain their civil rights. You know, this is unlike any America that we in New England had encountered. This was a completely different country. It, it, it was a cruel place at that time. It was a very corrupt kind of society in that there was this whole tradition of extra-legal violence uh, based on race, which at its most extreme level was lynching, where people felt that there were certain issues around race where the laws didn't apply and people just dealt with it as they saw fit, and this was mob rule. So how'd they put you to work? Well, go find those people and get them down to the courthouse to register to vote. Canvassing door to door, day after day after day. Do you have any memories that still are with you to this day of, you know, walking up on that porch or talking to the screen door to somebody? Anything stay with you? Whatever I say, they say, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah, that, very good. You know, they, they'd agree with anything I'd say. Um, but it wasn't a real conversation. It was just people going through the motions of, of caste and class as it was prescribed in their society. So, you know, it took a long time to, to start to break that down. In a little county town of 3,500 people in rural Mississippi, and this is really rural, this farming country, it's very sparsely populated, nothing ever changes, and um, the position of, of black people in the society is prescribed in every detail. And it hasn't changed in decades. It hasn't changed since the end of Reconstruction in the late 1800s. So, you know, people I'm talking to have never had a conversation like this with a white person. I remember this one family, uh, Roland and Rosie Nelson out on the Hayes Plantation. I think I met them after church one Sunday in a little church up on the bluff above the Mississippi Delta Blacks Chapel. And um, they invited me down to their place. And they lived in a little rude shack on the plantation. They had, oh, I don't know, five or six kids who were all pretty young and an old beat up Ford that just about ran. And, it, it was pretty basic stuff. These people were really poor, but they had they had the fire, and um, they they saw this as a, an opportunity to change their lives and to make the the larger change in the society. And they they got right down to the courthouse and registered and became leaders in the community.